Hey, welcome again to Life in the God Lane. I'm Tom West. These are my power verses for the day for the 9th of March, 2022. I call this message Heavenly Hosts. It's from Psalm 103, verses 21 and 22. And we're going to finish the 103rd Psalm today. We'll start, I'm going to do a series of messages starting tomorrow from the 8th chapter of Romans. It's powerful, powerful. I hope you'll be on hand for all of that. Uh, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel, hit the bell so you get notified every time I put a, put a message out, which is every day, uh, make comments, um, send it to other people, give me thumbs up, that all helps the al algorithm hopefully get it out to more people, and just watch it every day and get some truth from God's word. We are seeing what armies can do today. They can defeat the enemy, can't they? An army can be used to defeat oppression, or it can be used to cause oppression. Today, the Russian army is busy being used to oppress and kill the Ukrainian people. It's tragic beyond words. But did you know that God has a heavenly army doing spiritual battle for you, if you're a Christ follower? He does. He does. That army is one of his great benefits to his to believers. But Psalm 103, verses 21 and 22. Bless the Lord, all you his hosts, you who serve him doing his will. Bless the Lord, all you works of his in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Who blesses the Lord? Well, his hosts bless him. In Luke 2, Jesus' birth is announced by shepherds in the field, by announced to shepherds in the field. Uh, Luke 2 verse 13 says it this way, And suddenly there appeared with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, and then he praised God because Jesus had come. The heavenly host is a heavenly army. That's the point. It's a heavenly army of angels or other spiritual beings, probably always angels, that are doing God's work. So what's the function of God's heavenly army? Psalm 103, verse 21b says, they serve him doing his will. God's heavenly host, heavenly army, serves him doing his will. They help accomplish his will in our lives. They help us with getting his will done in our lives. Psalm 103 verse 22 calls the heavenly army works of his or works of God. They're God's works. They are God's works who serve him in all the places of his dominion, or you could say in all the places of his rule. They serve him everywhere he rules. So let me ask a question. Have you surrendered to the rule of Christ? Are you Christ's dominion? Are you the place where Jesus Christ rules? That's where his angels will serve. When you and I are the place where Christ rules, he puts his spiritual army to work fighting our spiritual battles for us, helping us defeat the evil one and have victory in life. Now, this does not mean you won't have spiritual battles. You will. But it does mean that God unleashes his angel armies, his heavenly hosts, to fight for you when you're having spiritual battles, which you're going to have. So what would you prefer? To do your spiritual battles with God's angel armies or without God's angel armies? That's simple, right? If you want God's angels, angel armies, his hosts fighting for you, do what I did just over 50 years ago. Get on your knees and tell God that you're putting Jesus Christ in charge of you. You surrender to him as Lord and then reaffirm that surrender every day and live that way. Hope you'll do that if you've never had. And tomorrow we're going to start the eighth chapter of Romans. It is thunderously fantastic. Hope you'll be on on hand for that, it'll be a blessing to your life. I'll see you tomorrow.